I've been thinking a lot this week about animals. And I'm wondering, is there an animal that calls to your spirit, calls to your heart, calls to your imagination? I have several, one of which is the fox. So for me, it's the fox, the otter, the owl, and the goat. But today, I just wanted to, to think about the fox. I just take a look at those eyes. I love this carving. Um, the beautiful, obviously, the beautiful uh, intricate painting uh, and colors. But this face just fascinates me. It calls to my imagination as equally um, sad and innocent and all-knowing um, fox. Um, I love the idea of our ability to have a spirit animal, an animal that if you look into its symbology, its mythology, what different faith traditions, spiritual traditions say about the animal, that uh, that animal can open up new aspects of our own spirituality, um, call uh, to aspects of our own self that perhaps uh, are lying dormant and by bringing them to the forefront, uh, Perhaps discover new um, understandings of how we're called to be in the world. So the spirit animal. So today, in honor of our all ages blessing of the animals and stuffed animals too, I have a poem, Mary Oliver, uh, who is just uh, exquisite natural mysticism that infuses her poetry. This is called Fox. And what I love about this, and as you're listening to the words, you can listen for it. I love that it, it really so brings alive uh, her experience of seeing this fox while walking in the dunes of Provincetown, Massachusetts. But also, it's a reflection of how she as a poet is trying to capture the essence of the fox and place it into words and at the same time reflect on her own mind, her own sensibility. Fox by Mary Oliver. You don't ever know where a sentence will take you, depending on its roll and fold. I was walking over the dunes when I saw the red fox asleep under the green branches of the pine. It flared up in the sweet order of its being, the tail that was over the muzzle lifting up in airy excitement. And the fire of the eyes followed, and the pricked ears and the thin barrel body and the four athletic legs in their black stockings. And it came to me how the polish of the world changes I was hot, I was cold, I was almost dead of delight. Of course, the mind keeps cool in its hidden palace. Yes, the mind takes a long time. It otherwise is otherwise occupied than by happiness and deep breathing. Still, at last, it comes to running like a wild thing to be taken with its twin sister, Breath. So I stood on the pale peach-colored sand, watching the fox as it opened like a flower. And I began softly to pick among the vast assortment of words that it should run again and again across the page, that you again and again should shiver with grace.